Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you're new, I'm Charlotte and I make styling videos so today I thought we would tackle one of my most worn slash favourite ever staple pieces and that is the cardigan. So today's video is going to be all about cardigans, how to style, how to wear, how to wear them. You look chic and on trend and feel put together. Cardigans for me, especially since being a mum, for some reason have been one of the best staples in my wardrobe. I am willing to spend money on cardigans because I get so much wear out of them. So let's start with cardigan number one. This is my beautiful John Lewis striped navy and white cardigan. I get so much wear out of this. It is ridiculous. I wear it at least once a week. This one is 100% cotton and it's just a really durable cardigan. This has been in the wash many a time and it still looks amazing. It's still Still holding its structure really well. It's really, really lovely quality. I cannot recommend this cardigan enough. The first look I've decided to pair with this cardigan is probably the look that I wear the most, and that is the cardigan as a top with just a simple vest top underneath, paired with a pair of high rise, wide leg, slightly cropped jeans. I just think pairing the navy of the cardigan with a navy pair of jeans looks so, so chic and effortless. It is like colour blocking, but you're adding a pattern to the top, so it helps to add a little bit of interest to an otherwise quite plain outfit. Now, I'm wearing a pair of belly pumps with this look because I find them really, really flattering with this style of jean, and I finished the look with my pollen bag. I added this pop of brown just to add a little tiny bit of warmth to the look, otherwise it's quite tonal, it's quite one-dimensional, but with the stripes on the cardigan and the fact that it has this lovely raised knit as well, I do think it elevates any look and it makes it look a lot more expensive and a lot more put together and it probably like you've made more effort than you actually have. And another way I like to wear this cardigan is with a pair of tailored trousers. So tailored white trousers. These ones here are actually the ones that I'm wearing in the cutaway for this outfit and these ones are just Marks and Spencer's wide leg tailored trousers. I love the way that this looks with a pair of tailored trousers, leaving it open. I also love pairing the navy with black as well. Some people aren't too keen on the navy and black combination but I think it looks so chic and effortless. And I think there's no nicer way than dressing up a cardigan than adding a pair of slightly heeled boots. Now, the boots that I'm wearing in these cutaways are from Zara and they are just a small heel. I'm not really into massive heel boots at the moment, especially as a mum. So these heels are really practical, but still look nice and put together. And I have finished the look with a classic black bag as well. So just a more formal way to wear this cardigan. The next cardigan is this one. This one is a recent edition from H&M. You would have seen it if you watched my recent H&M haul. This one is a really 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 beautiful almost like a teddy slash borg style fabric it's black with a little bit of white detail and gold buttons this cardigan is slightly less warm than the first one this one does need a little bit of kind of dressing up and you might want to add a few more layers with this one but I do love having a black structured cardigan in my wardrobe because I just find it the type of cardigan that you can pair with a lot of outfits and especially if you're more of a neutral person like me, it goes really nicely with so many other neutral style pieces in a wardrobe and this particular style, this kind of old money style, can be dressed up and dressed down really easily as well. You'll we'll see in the first look I'm wearing it as a top and I've paired it with some lighter, cooler toned, wide leg floaty trousers. Those ones aren't actually the ones I'm wearing here. Those ones are from River Island and they are just a slightly more cooler tone than these ones here. I wanted to keep this look very simple, very minimal. The thing I love about cardigans is because of the buttons and the detail and for example the kind of edging around this one and also on the sleeves, it does add more interest to your outfit other than just wearing kind of a baggy jumper. So I do like to let the cardigan do a lot of the talking in my outfits. I've also paired this look, I've dressed it down 
one with a pair of black Converse. These are just all stars and I've also got a black tote bag from Mango just to keep the look really kind of relaxed and down to earth and not too fussy at all. Whereas this next look with the cardigan, I am going all out festive and I'm showing you how you can get versatility out of your cardigans by dressing them up for the festive season. You can definitely wear them as a top, wear them with your hair down, with your hair up, a statement earring and a sequin pair of trousers or a skirt like I'm wearing in the video here. I've also teamed the look with my beautiful mango pumps which have a slight heel and these gorgeous black bows on the front of them as well and then I've also finished off the look just with a pearl clutch bag just because I think it's very party season appropriate and I think if you're looking for an outfit to look nice and chic but still get festive and maybe you want something to wear to a festive drinks or drinks with the girls outfit this is something that I think would go down really really nicely. Next cardigan I wanted to mention is this light cool toned cardigan from Marks and Spencers. This one is a size medium and it's super relaxed and comfy and again like all these cardigans I get a lot of wear out of it and I just absolutely love it. Um, my partner bless him did actually wash this one with some darker colours so it's now a little bit dappled which I'm not loving but we can still wear it so we're just going to move on from that. I love dressing it down, I love dressing it up and again you just have that versatility with this kind of cardigan. I also love the v-neck of this one so it's a little bit different to the more old money styles that you can button up and wear kind of as tops right up to the top. This one with a v-neck is slightly more relaxed and informal and shows a little bit more skin. One way to elevate your cardigans at this time of year is to pair them with a pair of leather or faux leather trousers. I love a black pair of faux leather trousers but you can team this cardigan with maybe a burgundy pair, a dark brown pair, that would look amazing. Even a cream pair if you're feeling brave. My faux leather trousers are actually from Mango, they're wide leg, they're quite slouchy, they're quite baggy and that's kind of how I like them to look at the moment. I like trousers to kind of hang off me slightly and not be quite too clingy and not be too clingy. I love, love, love this look, pairing it with these boots. I'm dressing it up slightly by adding a little bit of a heel and a little bit of a point at the end of the boot as well, just to add that layer of interest. Again, I'm relying on my trusty Pelin Paris bag to give me a little bit of warmth in this outfit and to elevate it again slightly and add a different dimension and color tone. And I think this outfit works really, really nicely. You can wear it during the day, you can wear it out during the evening. And I think a cardigan is a really, really underestimated item in a wardrobe. Alternatively, with this one, you can go really, really casual, have some fun with it, pair it with some coloured trousers or some joggers or something really slouchy and comfy on the bottom. You'll see that I've teamed this one with really, really casual blue denim style trousers from Arquette. More of kind of a jogger than a jean, to be honest with you. They've got a drawstring waist, chuck on the cardigan, chuck on your sambas and you are good to go. This is definitely a more typical kind of weekend outfit for me. I like to dress down and be a little bit more comfy and informal and it's just a really really easy way to throw on a cardigan and add that layer and feel like you're not too kind of restricted or uncomfortable. The next cardigan to mention is this striped cardi from Threadbare. This one I picked up in a UK size 10 and it does fit really really nicely. One thing I would say is this one is not really washing that great and I have RIP lost a couple of buttons which is slightly annoying but we can still make it work and I'm going to show you how in the cutaways. So this one I think is perfect because it has these stripes on the sleeves. There's quite a colour contrast here and one thing I love doing with this cardigan is using it as a layering piece. So instead of just wearing it as a cardigan and wearing it as the final layer in an outfit, I like adding layers on top of this cardigan because of the added sleeve detail. Obviously the winter is upon us now, I think it's safe to say, and one way I love styling this cardigan is by wearing a gilet. This is my beautiful faux fur gilet, which I just love wearing so, so much, and I think it pairs really nicely dressed down 
for a more casual slouchy look with these jeans. These are just mango blue jeans. I love them so, so much. I think they work so nicely with the colour of the cardigan and also the gilet over the top as well. I've teamed the look with some lighter, nudie colour cowboy boots and also my mint velvet bag, which is a bit of a dupe for the Luovo puzzle. And I just think it's just a really, really nice way to bring a little bit of pattern, a little bit of interest to the outfit by showing the sleeves but because you've got the gilet on you're kind of keeping everything under wraps and everything covered up as well so you can use the cardigan as a layering piece you could even pop on a vest underneath the cardigan as well just for another layer of warmth if you are heading out about and you are worried about being cold and to do a complete 180 we can also dress this cardigan up by again using layering but in a slightly more formal way so i teamed the look with these trousers that i'm wearing here my marks and spencer's trousers I've then added a black blazer and I'm wearing a black vest top underneath. So you can see pops of the three different layers throughout this outfit, which I think makes it look really interesting. It adds something a little bit different to the look. It's a bit unexpected. I feel like we can get stuck in a maybe a little bit of a rut sometimes and go for the obvious, which don't get me wrong, I go for the obvious all the time, but it is nice every now and again to try something new, try something different and do a bit of experimenting. I've decided to go for ballet pumps with this look just to break it up slightly because we've got so many layers going on. I wanted to keep it nice and light on the bottom and add a little peep of foot just to make the look slightly less heavy on the bottom. And now this next cardigan could be my favourite. No, I think this one is probably my favourite to be honest, but this one I really have a soft spot for because I think it is just beautiful. It's really unusual in that it doesn't have any buttons, there is no fastening, you can't do this cardigan up, so you cannot wear it as a top. You actually have to wear it as a cardigan. <laughs> And this one I did get in a medium, it is from Marks and Spencers, and it is the most beautiful cardigan. It is a lovely thick knit, it keeps me so warm and comfy. Again, I've worn this so many times. I get compliments on this one, and it's just a really easy, slightly different structured cardigan, which I really like as something different in my wardrobe. Now this first look is very, very typical of me, and I've teamed the cardigan with a camel pair of high-waisted wide leg trousers, which are from River Island, lovely and beautiful and flowy. I think the textures work really, really nicely together. I'm then just wearing this basic white vest top underneath as a layering piece. I think it is such a simple outfit because you have the three colours, which makes it easier on the eye. The different textures of each of the pieces work so nicely together as well. I've then elevated the outfit and finished it off with these pointy black boots, again from Zara, and then finished off the look with a bag which is JW Pie. Now, this bag does have slight kind of croc effect detail to it, so again, it just adds another the layer of interest to the outfit. I think this outfit shows that you can stay really minimal and it keep to basic pieces, but by adding different layers and different textures and different kind of shapes into the outfit, it makes it really interesting and something that it looks like you've worked really, really hard to pull together when you've literally just gone into a wardrobe and chucked it together in five minutes. <laughs> then lastly, I wanted to show how you can wear this cardigan as a bit of a layering piece as a bit of a heat warmer, a shoulder warmer if you like, and you can always pop it on as a cardigan if you do get slightly cooler as the day or evening goes on. So with this look, I've just got my black satin maxi skirt, which is from H&M. I've teamed it with this beautiful short sleeved faux fur top from Mango. It's a gorgeous cream top. I think this makes a really nice take on a festive kind of outfit without being sequins and glitter and all of the above. <laughs> Again, I've added the boots because I wanted this look to be a little bit more chic and elevated and I love the way the boot looks with the satin skirt as well. And to finish off the look and add a little injection of warmth and colour, I am wearing my plan bag too. So that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video all about cardigans. I really, really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do give me a big old thumbs up and leave me a comment down below to let me know that this was a kind of video that you like to see and let me know if you'd like to see more of this style of video where I pick an item and I share lots of different ways to style that item. Thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you really, really soon for the next one. Bye!